Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I cover oily skin, hooded eyes, and beauty. So the purpose for this video is to show you how to work with loose powder foundation. I used to wear loose powder foundation way back then. It was the very first type of makeup that I actually started wearing. But back then I didn't really know how to work with it, so I'm pretty sure I looked pretty cakey, pretty powdery, but um, yeah, I now know a whole lot more about makeup and so I just wanna share some of the things that I learned with you guys. So let's get started. So I'm sure you guys have heard of Shelby Wilson. She is like the queen of loose powder foundation. I will definitely link her channel down in the description box below if you wanna check out her channel. She is amazing and I have learned a lot from her. So loose powder foundation can be pretty much for anyone, you just have to learn how to work with it according to your skin type. Now I have crazy, crazy oily skin, so the steps that I'm gonna be taking will definitely be for oily skin. So as you guys can see, I already have my eyebrows on. I wanted to go ahead and skip that step and move on. Before you start with your loose powder foundation, you wanna go ahead and prep your skin according to your skin type. So I have really oily skin and I don't wanna do anything too moisturizing, too illuminating. I kind of wanna be on the more matte side. So I did use my moisturizer for my skincare and then for my primer, I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Putty Poreless Primer. So I have huge, huge pores and I definitely wanna make sure that I get in there because sometimes powder can exaggerate it. So just in the center of my face, my T-zone where I have my large pores. I want to get that done. And then of course, if you have drier skin, normal to dry skin, you wanna make sure that you are moisturizing because powder can be pretty drying. So next up, I'm gonna be doing my concealer and I'm just gonna be using my everyday concealer from Tarte in the shade Light Sand. It's shape tape and I'm only gonna be using it underneath my eyes because I just have some really dark circles I'm not gonna use it anywhere else I'm not gonna spot conceal I'm not going to do any highlighting I think that the coverage of the powder foundation will definitely be enough so I'm just gonna blend that out really quick so I have seen people use the powder foundation as the setting powder for their concealer and I've seen people use translucent powder um, or brightening powder to set their concealer. You can use whichever. I will be going in with a translucent powder to set this. I'm just gonna go into my Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder and get my sponge and just set the under eye area. I won't be baking, I will just be setting it. So the next step to applying the loose powder foundation is gonna be finding your trusty applicator. And I went ahead and chose a very dense brush and this is gonna help with getting as much coverage as possible. Like if you are using a less dense, just kind of like a very sparse brush, you're not gonna be getting the coverage that you want. It's almost like putting on just a sheer powder. So the powder foundation that I'm gonna be using today is gonna be the Neutrogena Mineral Shears Loose powder foundation. I do like this. I used to use Bare Minerals, but I just didn't use it enough to purchase something that pricey. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open this and dip my brush in here. So because I did pick up quite a bit of the foundation, I'm just gonna get the lid of the product and just tap it off the excess powder. So that way there's not so much. So you wanna start off with very little powder on your brush and then work it into your skin. If you need more, then definitely keep applying it, but you don't wanna start off with so much and then it looking so powdery, so cakey, you wanna start off with very light applications. Of course, if you need more coverage, you can always go back in. So very light coverage and just go in a circular buffing motion. And the key to using a loose powder foundation is to constantly buff. So back then when I used to use this powder foundation, I didn't really do that. I just kind of slapped it on and went about my day. I'm pretty sure I look like a powdery mess, but the trick is to keep on buffing. The powder is going to mix in with your oils and just make it look like skin. So just keep buffing. It may seem like a really long process, but it's gonna be worth it. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick up the excess powder in the top that I kind of tapped off and keep applying. And just be careful not to inhale the powder. 
And if you have more of a dry skin type, you can definitely put on whatever cream highlighter, liquid highlighter that you have, put it underneath the powder foundation so that way you can kind of get that luminous look. For me, with my oily skin, my oils will go ahead and do that for me throughout the day. <laughs> See, I keep picking up more and more powder as I keep blending. You just keep blending, just keep going. And just like a liquid foundation, you are going to put it on the neck to blend it out. Just for good measure, I'm gonna go back and just buff one more time. Okay, now that I blended that out a million bajillion times, I'm gonna go on with the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, so for the rest of my makeup, I actually just use powder products. So for my bronzer, I used my Cover FX Perfector Face Palette. For my blush, I used the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. And then for my highlighter, I used my Ciate London Moon Dust. For the very last, and the most important step is gonna be your setting spray. Now this is going to help melt all of the products together and make it look like skin again. And I use the Urban Decay to slick for oil skin, so this is gonna be the oil control. Now of course, if you have drier skin, you can use a more hydrating one, but I don't need that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna spray a few of these. Let it dry. So that setting spray is definitely gonna help that makeup stay in place and also just kind of melt all of the products together to look like skin again. And of course, yes, doing the buffing motions, I know the million buffing motions that we did is definitely gonna help that powder mix in with our oils to make it look like skin, but anything helps to make that makeup stay. So as you can see with all of this powder that I have on, my face does still have like a luminous look. It doesn't look too matte. It doesn't look too crazy, cakey, powdery, or anything like that. All of these steps definitely helps make that makeup just blend in with your skin beautifully. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video today. I really hope that this helped you guys out with applying your loose powder foundation. Let me know down in the comments below, how do you apply your powder foundation? And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Thanks, bye.